All right, welcome. This is my uh, first tutorial on how to no load NeoFly 2.0 and how to run your first mission. Now, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, NeoFly, and you can either download a setup file, which is the first method you should try because it will have an auto update functions. If that doesn't work, then you do the uh, NeoFly zip folder and put that in your game directory. So we're going to try here the first for the first setup and you download it into your game folder. It doesn't have to be your Microsoft game folder, just your game drive. And uh, then try to run the application file. Try to look, find it. And there it is. And then it tries to verify, select a certificate. I go OK. And we get an error. Could not connect. So if this happens, you could try the second version, second thing, and this is what I'm going to do, and it's you download the folder. Okay, the README file has more information on uh, visiting Discord for lots of tips and information if you like this program, and also how to get a Bing key uh, for your maps. So you'll need to get a, a map key for your own, which is free. And available through Microsoft and it's just telling you more about how there's two career modes one's just a bush pilot career and you start off or you can do the sandbox which is starting off with a million dollars and just trying out all the planes if that's what you'd like so here we're finishing doing the zip folder and we're just gonna download this and uh, then try to run it and hopefully we'll get the program working So I'm just going to put it back into where I put my games and just distract it in the same hard drive, but it can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be anywhere near Microsoft because it's a standalone program, it runs through SimConnect. So if you don't like it, you can always just delete it and it's not going to affect anything and vice versa. You don't have to always run it when you run uh, your Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's just an add-on, just like a plane would be an add-on through using SimConnect to uh, operate all the switches. So here I just click on Neophyte and uh, just Microsoft's trying to protect me so I go more info and run anyway. And there we got it working. Now we just under call sign you're gonna put your name or your initials if you want whatever you want to be called in the game and your uh, airport code, the four, four letter code is your ICAO and then you're going to admit that will be your first pilot. You can add more than one pilot for different areas but they won't accumulate money. Each pilot will have their own accounts. So I'm going to start in Spain here. That's where I'm flying right now and uh, just and I'm going to start with the X-Cub. So either you can start with the X-Cub or the G1000 because they both have good GPS's. I wouldn't start with the uh, Cessna 152. You can always buy that. It's actually quite cheap in the game. It's only 40,000 to buy later on. So start with either of those two planes and you should get started. So then you just hit start and we're off and running. Okay, so here's the game. It, it represents about six, seven tabs on top here. Uh, your search, your tracking, your pilot career, your logs, how many your hangers, which is how many planes you have, and the money balance that you've earned. Here's your qualifications. We all start off with category eight, cadet. And here's your tracking. Like when you start flying, you wanna have this page all green from red. And here is your missions that you can select. And right now I have it set up that it's matching plane and rank. And uh, even though there's 29 missions at this location, I'm only on about nine of them right now. And so you can just click on them and find out where they go in the map. And if that's the direction that you want to go, uh, then you can select them. Uh, there's other missions, cargo missions. There's uh, special cargo missions where you have to land smoother, smoothly. The delivery missions where you have to uh, get there in a certain time. And there's uh, also emergency missions where you drop off a medic in a certain zone. And... Uh, 
you can select that. Now you can either fly that yourself, and later on when uh, you can hire a pilot to uh, use your airplane, or when you buy more airplanes, you can hire pilots to run those airplanes. And later on, you can actually rent airplanes. So here we're going to select our departure airport. And the way the game gets initiated is that if there is a ramp, you have to use the ramp in order to park. And when you start your plane, the game starts. So we're just going to select a small gate ramp. And uh, then we're going to hit fly. And we'll get started later on because of the X Cub has an excellent GPS. We'll just use that in order to select our destination later on. So here you can see that we've in here, and so basically we just gotta start the plane, and we'll start hearing messages, and we'll go back and look at the program and to see if it's connected. So we'll just start the plane, hit the right switches. So every plane's different, and everybody learns how to start whatever plane they're starting and uh I'm transporter form dispatch so I'm loading get, cargo please stand I'm by i hit all the right switches but uh every once in a while you forget a switch so now that's the boarding notice and you can look here at the connection status and you see that they're all green if you have any red um it probably you probably won't get paid if you take off. Since it's a separate program, um, within the flight simulator you can fly, start flying and if the Neo fly doesn't have a red or Neo flight doesn't agree that you've done all the right things, then you probably could end up in your destination. And you're Transporter. Okay. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. So once you get that message, you're ready to go. Just Keep setting your plane up for flight. Set up your uh, avionics, your lights, and your GPS. And then you see everything here is green. Uh, you have a status here, loading, board OK, waiting for takeoff. So now you can just start um, using, getting ready to get, get to the runway and take off. You always let her go by. And now we can start off. So here I'm just going to tell the tower that I'm taking off. And, um, and then we're going to go and head off south Bogota of the airport. Which is going to take off Clear from take the other side of the airport. Uh, runway, but we need to just get going. Okay, that little message came came from Neofly, it's just fly safe, and we're ready to go. And uh, those are the type of messages you need to hear, and you know that you're on mission, and you will get paid at the end of that mission. Uh, here I'm just going to select my uh, direct nearest airport and just use the GPS. So in the next few minutes, I'll just see what some of the sights that we see on our way to our destination airport. So here I'll just edit the flight itself to a couple minutes and get re we'll get ready uh, at the end of this couple minutes for our landing and, uh, and see what our reward's going to be.
So here I'm just flying the drone around. Um, I'm on autopilot, so sometimes you can just kind of use the drone, like drone vision, and just go around and look at what's happening below us. And uh, in this case, we're going to go all the way to the runway with this drone and see what the runway looks like. Okay, we are arriving at our destination and then you can see the runway is just to our left so we're just going to go over there and have a look at it. And it looks fairly long so we're just going to go straight in and we're gonna, it looks nice, it looks like there's a nice slope up slope so this, sh this is one of the more difficult ones, I've never been this one to be this before so, but uh, I think it's good. So it's now it's just a question of taking off the autopilot and uh, lining up for the runway and just slowing the plane down here and uh, we'll see that we nice we run now some missions um, these this is just a cargo mission but there's other missions that you have to you have sensitive cargo and you have to land it on the runway with a less than 200 uh, feet a vertical speed of only two less than 200 feet but this is not one of them so we can just whatever happens as long as we land we'll be we'll be able to collect our money so we're just gonna land the runway there you see it, it's right up there around two o'clock so we'll just run line up the plane and uh, we'll see how we do I mean, the only thing we really got to worry about are some of these giant trees of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it looks like there's a couple of trees right in front of the, the runway. So we'll just have to go over them and then we should be fine. Okay, we had a good landing, and all we need to do is put on the parking light right, and see if we're going to get paid. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. And so the plane is just get unloaded, and that will be it for the mission. And then you can see what's happening within the NEO fly application itself you can launch that now and uh, see what the messages are within that and uh, how much money and bonuses you're getting okay so you can see that 
we arrived, our speed is there, we got a landing bonus, comfort bonus, and uh, so all, everything's good. Now the connection status is all red, meaning that we have completed our flight, and uh, we can go look at the log and it's a successful bonus, comfort, and we can look to see what our pay was. Uh, and then just uh, over the balance tab and we start off with 10,000 so now we're at 15,000 and you can look at the map and you can see that the invalid credentials means that I need a Bing key in order to get that to get my own map key which is free from Microsoft and you can look at discord to find out how to do all that and uh, or just maybe leave a comment and I can point you in the right direction but there we are